I think about parenthood and the focus of that show is on transferring human emotions. Correct, yeah. Right? And I was curious if that experience was maybe cathartic in a way. Absolutely. So much of our ourselves was in that show and there were days where I would just go home and stare at a wall for three hours and then go to sleep because it's you're so present and you're giving so much of your own real stuff and but it was such a gift because like you said it was so cathartic because usually you know you got a script you look at it you memorize the stuff you go in and you do it and with this you don't really think about it like as far as second guessing or or you know and in this we felt so fiercely protective over the people because we so, so much of ourselves was in these characters that you know oftentimes I mean I remember one time uh, doing an episode in like season six or something and there was a part about a boat and I was like, oh, but we can't, we can't because Amber's afraid of boats because remember in season one, she said the thing with the thing and the thing and everybody was like, oh yeah, okay, whatever. Like, but you know, to me, I'm like, this is my person. I have to protect this person and talk about like governing with love or fear. That set was so trusting and open and cohesive and free and Really, Jason led us with so much love and trust. He kind of put this group of people together and said, go, like, I trust you, I love you. And a big part of us is in there and a big part of our words and our, you know, and everybody's like, you cried so much. And I was like, yeah, I didn't mean to. I When you get in a room with Craig T. Nelson, who's like this open, walking, raw nerve of like love and who would cry at lunch tables telling you how much he loved you and stuff. I mean, you're going to cry. And he says something to you in the room that you didn't expect. I mean, we had scenes like the scene at the uh, junkyard where after Amber gets in a, her car accident, Craig, you know, the the whole scene was he's supposed to take her there and give her a speech about being careful and this and that. And Craig was like, after the rehearsal, he was like, I'm going to just say whatever I want, so be ready. And I was like, okay. And like, you know, I get in there and he had written and made up this whole speech about that I know was so much a part of him about how when he was in the war, he, you know, dreamt about his grandkids and that we were his dreams and I can't mess with his dreams. And I know that that a big part of that was from his own experience in real life. And it was so beautiful and powerful that I totally lost it. And so again, you know, that stuff is so present and so real and meant so much to us that I, I really feel like it's almost hard to watch because there's like so much stuff in there that it feels autobiographical. Is really raw and really right. painful, and even the stuff that doesn't quite add up storyline-wise. I whatever it was, I I know exactly what I was going through at the time, and I think luckily we were able to put stuff out there that, at the very least, you can know is very very honest and connected for everyone involved. Jason talked about crying in the edit room. Yeah, <laughs> everyone but, was crying. You'd fi you'd finish a take and the camera guy would be like, you know, there was like, it was, it was an emotional thing. You yeah. Know? As life is, such is life. Hey folks, thanks for watching. If you like what you just saw, then why not subscribe? Click right here for lots more off camera. And if you want to see the hour long version of these conversations, I'm going to give you the secret link. Here it is, offcamera.com. Check it out.